Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to Hearthstone and welcome back to the arena. Um Yeah, so let's just dive right in. If I lose this match um, my I'll be kicked out of the arena, per se, and I'll lose this deck and I'll have to redraft a new one. I don't really mind that because I have plenty of gold for another arena because it only costs 150. So like, I have guaranteed two more arena runs, plus you get gold usually at the end of every arena run, so it all works out. Taking a while to find an opponent here. Wow, yeah, so, I, I don't know, this deck has been doing okay. Oh. Well, that, maybe that's why I couldn't find an opponent. Ah, oh, beta is beta, there will be issues, and almost every game that, um, that's online has some sort of issues. Okay, yeah, it's time we got one. Luckily, it's not my worst nightmare. Uh, my last three have been beasts. God. It's almost like they're overpowered. Um, we'll throw out Battle Rage. Yeah, that's okay. We have a one play, a three play, or a two play if we use the coin. So I think that's how we'll start it off. Just a raging Morgan. Uh, uh, Morgan place. This is good because it's a uh, stealth. Uh, Cockalisk is a bit of a pain. Mm -hmm. I say. The corn. Morgan, and we don't attack with. Ah, uh, Infiltrator. Just because two damage isn't enough for him to actually do anything. Like, I could have two damaged and then use execute, that's a waste. And now we did two damage to the cardless, he would just heal through it. So, here's a good play, and I think it's a decent play. If we attack that, this thing goes up to a 4-1. And I also get Swoon Fury so I can attack twice. Now, we could attack into that and get rid of the Divine Shield, but then we'd be losing the war. I think it's just bad to hit him in the face twice. Get some early damage. And then just run. Next turn, we either have Dark Iron Dwarf. If we need to buff something, but more likely we're going to use the Storm, Storm Wind Knight just because he has charge. We can get some damage on the board right there. Uh, four cost priest. Um, you have to look out for it. That is definitely one you have to look out for. Let's see. So what are my options here? We don't have a lot of them actually. We can charge with the Storm Wind Knight, which is a meh play, honestly. We could just take out that, but it's a watch. No. It has one HP, so this can trade. We can charge with the Corgan Elite. This once again a meh play. This is actually really hard. Um, I wonder. Anyway, we. Thanks a lot. Probably our best bet is. Mm. Like, strike armor. 
get rid of the uh, shadow post. Uh, next turn. Well, actually, we actually don't have anything special to play. We cast by. But we can Storm One Knight execute if we need to, or Cold Gun Elite execute. The Dark Iron Dwarf at that point isn't too great of a play because there's nothing to buff. Is someone injured? Oh yeah. So that's a lot of scary stuff kind of, that he put on the field. Um and we can only really deal with one. So I say we go on the lead the North Shy Cleric to limit his card to us. No. That's not all we do. We'd then we'd have to execute the light spawn. Because if we just go on to if we just charge it, he'd risk heal it and get more guard draw. Um, I'd probably try it out the Scarlet Crusader on my card called Quen Elite. That works too. Yeah. Got a fair bit of board control, but since I'll be removing two minutes, I should be in a decent position. I could actually remove both the light spawn and the shield one. Uh, I don't think I will. For the king! For honor! And that's that. That's all I can really do. Um, no, oh, I could have played uh, Karen Bloodworth this time, but I felt like I needed to play the whole game. So, he has five mana, he can summon a creature. He has a Holy Nova, which wouldn't be much point. Murder! Okay, so we can mad bomber execute the Yeti. Mad bomber brings us down to five. Or we could just con blood off and execute play stuff. That no, I think that's that's the most mana. Hopefully he doesn't have some sort of dispel or silence or even an owl. There's a good chance that he does, but what are you gonna do? It's still a 4-5. Can't trade his Yeti for it. So I'll still get some value out of it. And he'll dispel. Must consider. Put this apple on your head. Okay. That's why Dodie has a silence then. Oh no. The eyes of the earth are upon us. Do I give him plus two attack? He goes up to a six five, and I can't kill that. I think. Oh, if I play Mad Bomb. No. I just got. I'm gonna play Mad Bomb and hope to get Shell Wind Yeti. No, we didn't get it. Crap. Um. Maybe I should have gone Mad Bomb first. Yeah, looking back, that was probably the right play. It was my bomber first. Because if it would have six, I could have traded that. Yeah, okay, whatever. 
You have an 8-8 eight eight on the board. Um, which is good. Because he only has a 6-6. Six six. We both have a 4-1. Uh, I think I've got more value. Out. No, I haven't got more value out of it. Than Behold it the might of storm wind. Uh. So what's he gonna plan to do? Is he gonna run two inches into my eight eight? So that works. Uh, you can also trade the yeti for. Bane blood hook and have it live with one HP. Not the smartest play, because I could have a whirlwind in my hand, which I don't. But I could. As long as I have this Bane blood hook out, I'm not likely to play a whirlwind when he has one HP. Um, he's stronger. I, I, I would. Rob, knowing what I have, I change. Not like that. And yeah, I would not play like that. It's actually not a bad play, though. Um, so that would be, if we give him two, that would bring up to a 5 2. So we can kill that, and we can kill that. It's not a bad play. I'd be able to knock you. My best bet is probably to kill Stormborn Champion. That gets rid of 6 damage. Puts it down to a 4, 2. Um. That if I play ooze, she'll just hold me over, and I'll be hooped because I'll have no minions in my hand, and then this turn I might not get any minions to play. So at least if I hold back, if he does hold me over, just did. I I I have cards to play. Now this screws up my whirlwind play, of course, because uh, you can't really whirlwind when there's a raging morgan, because he then becomes enraged and it goes from doing 3 damage to 8. So it's a pretty easy play. I do that. And hope to live. At this point, it's really close. Of course, um, he has health advantage because he's a priest. No one really has boy advantage in this situation. That doesn't do much unless he has another heal. And the blade of the goddess. Now, he seems to just be trying to rush me down. Which is not great for me considering what I've got in my hand. Oh miss I could hit this priestess of Valoon. Actually, I can hit the Priestess of a Loon, Whirlwind, and then Scythe. That's, that's, that's the right play. Guess it takes out a 5 damage instead. If I had just gone for the Morgan, I would have only taken out 3 damage. So I'm affecting so I'm 2 health. The problem is, you can still hit me with 5, no problem. It's terrible. And... 
Okay. So one, two, three, four, three. And then we have to go to. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. It's getting to the point where even me, John Gorehowl, won't save me because I can't, won't be able to take the hits from the creatures to remove them. And that's when things get bad. When I can't even use my weapons to remove stuff from the board without risking myself dying. Okay. So. Um, will he trade the trade? No. Does it need to? It is pretty much GG. I don't think I have anything in my deck that could help me in this situation. And it's certainly not a hard call. Because he has more than enough damage to kill me. And then I'll be dead. Yep. Well played. Well played. That was my last arena match for this game. Let's I'll stick around. I'll, I'll keep recording so you can see what I got. And open okay, up the chest of three, which is bad. Not a lot of dust, which isn't bad. I don't I don't really need the gold. So I can throw a four D. So I can at least craft craft some cards. Let's see what I got in the pack though. But not the pack, I'm hoping it's all legendary. Oh jeez, it's just common things. It's not bad, but I'm probably not going to use any of these. Um, just disenchant them. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video.